Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jafar here with yet another video. Today we are talking about actually nothing. We are going to edit the photos you guys have sent me. I asked on Instagram a couple days ago if you guys could send me some of your raw photos and some of you were generous enough to send me some photos. So we're going to jump into Lightroom and edit those. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe and turn your notification bells on for more videos that are coming in the future. <laughs> All right, now that we have the live room open, let's go ahead and just look at the photos real quick. So the first photo I'm going to edit is from Jacob, and the second one is from Cameron, and um, the third one, which is the last raw photo, is from Jason, and then we have two other photos which are all in JPEG. This one is from uh, Lamborghini Luke, and this one is from Anto, or Anto. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. But these photos are JPEGs. There's not a lot I can do with JPEG photos, but we'll try. We'll try to see how it goes. I'm gonna start with this photo. You can see how much information are still preserved in the cloud and all these shadows. Oh, I just saw this one. There's a guy here. First thing first, I'm going to crop this and look, make it look better. I don't want that guy to be in a corner. And also, I want to make the composition even better. Um, I'm gonna make sure that it's a straight, uh, first thing I'm going to do is bring out some shadows, not too much, I don't want to ruin the photo. I'm going to keep it at 60 and I want to bring my highlights down because I want to bring out whatever information I have in the clouds and in the sky. That looks really good and maybe just 5 clarity just for now. Alright now I'm going to go down to here where it says lens correction and enable my profile correction to see how much vignetting is going to be removed. And now that I know this, uh, it looks good. Let me just go ahead and add some uh, graduated filters. I wanna bring out the details on the foreground. Uh, I'm gonna add some texture to it. Maybe just a little clarity and dehaze. So if you see now the foreground is a little bluish, you can either go down here and add some color to it to make it look better. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can go ahead and add the temperature toward warm just a little bit so it looks better that's good for the foreground let me just go ahead and copy this by just dragging another graduate filter oh my god you can't see that can you see that it's bringing all the blues out wow i didn't even know there's some blues in there perfect and i'm just gonna go give it some more feather because i don't want that building in the background to be dehazed as much as the sky is and just like rotate it just a little and I'm going to bring out some shadows because that building has some shadows on it now and maybe I don't want that much uh, dehaze and exposure to be lowered this is just adding and removing some filters I always want to make it look a little bit more dramatic therefore I'm going to this uh, tone curve and bring the shadows just down a little and then make the shadows get faded a little that much is enough and then the highlight station, maybe give it a little highlight and then bring the lights down and make sure that is in the middle. But if you wanna learn how to work with this tone curve, make sure to watch my video. It's gotta pop up in the banner right in the corner. And then uh, maybe I'll go to red and then just add just a little bit more of the red in my shadows. I just wanna be happy with something and I think I'm happy with there. Gonna bring the vibrance down and then add some situation. Uh, bring the contrast down and the blacks down. And now I'm gonna go use another filter, which is the radio filter, because I want to bring some shadows out of this car. Just like drag it, and then make sure you invert it because if you show select like the overlay, you can see if it's not inverted, it's like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and brush some of it out because it's too much. That looks good. And then let me just add some shadows. Bring out some shadows as we say. And add some clarity. Blacks down. And then maybe just like 0 0.05 of exposure. Now let's go ahead and color correct it if you may say. I like all the yellows here, but I would add some more. 
and then the uh, oranges are nice too but i'll add some more oranges but blues you can uh bring the luminance down a little so you can have a little bit more if you can see it in the photo this is nice but it's so light so you want to bring the highlighted blue down a little so you bring the luminance down and then add some blue into it and um, i think that's pretty much it the only other thing i'm going to do is if you see this uh noises i'm gonna go down here into uh, detail section under the noise i'm gonna bring the noise down a little by adding to luminance of the noise reduction i think 35 should be good and that's the final photo thanks again jacob for submitting your photo uh next up is a mark 5 supra is that a supra it is uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, crop this because there was a lot that I didn't want to show in the photo. I'm gonna use a simple rule of third, um, have a little bit on the on this quadrant and then uh, more in this one toward the bottom of this uh, grid. Go ahead and uh, enable the profile corrections because uh, I want to see if there's any vignettings or not. Then I'm just going to try to see if I add the exposure, what happens. You see if when I add exposures, this highlighted uh, lights are getting out of hand. I'm just putting the highlights down. That's too much, it becomes fake. I don't want to over edit and make a photo fake. Therefore, uh, I'm just going to add just a little bit of exposure. Maybe 0 0.15 is good, or maybe 0 0.20. I'm going to bring some shadows out, maybe like 20. And I'm gonna leave the highlights for now. And then because the whites are not white enough, I'm gonna add some white to it and maybe make it a little bit cooler. Like a 4,850, cool. Now add some clarity here, maybe five. And now the before and after, it doesn't look that much different. But what I'm gonna do now is gonna use some filters. I wanna bring some more details out of the pavement uh, gonna add a graduated filter, add some texture to it and clarity, maybe make it a little darker and maybe just bring some of the shadows out. Maybe some more texture and that looks good. That looks really good. Next thing I want to do, two things after this. I want to use another graduate filter to bring some more details out of this forest in the background. So add some exposure and so add some shadows, maybe just a little clarity. And then I want to use my brush tool, zoom in, maybe not zoom in, let me zoom a little bit, not too much. And bring out some of the details on the side of the car, especially the wheels, because I know these are nice wheels and I don't want to just like leave them in the dark. So I'm just going to brush over it. If you want to see what you're brushing, you can show selected mark overlay or mask over there, I read it mark. And just a little bit here. Let me just bring it out to see. Oof, I can't recover the whole wheel. It's sad, that's why like taking photos underexposed sometimes mess it up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna bring a lot of shadows out, just, just a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna bring the exposure out just a little, not too much, as much as it allows me and add some clarity to it and bring some blacks down so it doesn't look that fake and maybe just like a one d haze that's good so if you see before and after before is nothing in there but after you can you can see just like edge of the view and like just a little bit still in the shade but just a little bit that's the beautiful thing about having a camera which records all the data in this extent and zoom out before and after i'm going to remove some noises here and then i'm going to go to play with some tone curve and colors uh, i'm going to add to the shadows here just a tiny bit not too much and then fade my shadows by doing this and then add some lights and highlights i'm going to bring this down a little and then add the middle section. It doesn't look like an S curve, but if I if I make it an S curve, it's gonna look a little bit darker. You can really go with a dark kind of photo too, but I don't want it to look too dark. 
Now let's play with some colors. I'm gonna just bring it down a little. I wanna make it look more yellow than green it is. And then I'm gonna bring the yellows down and then add some yellows. Maybe that much is good. And then I'm gonna play with the split toning. Add some yellows to the highlights and add some blues to my shadows. And then I'm gonna remove them just a little, bring the saturations down, because I don't want the car to look yellow. And voila, before and after. And that's the final photo. All right, the next photo is from Jason, and this is the last uh, raw photo that was sent to me. This photo was taken in a rainy day, and in the back there's probably a lot of clouds and a lot of fog. Uh, therefore, if I bring, for example, the highlights down and the exposure down, uh, you can see there's not a lot of details in the background therefore there's not a lot we can do with the sky i want to bring out all the details and all the shadows that is in front of the car so i can show those beautiful uh, views of this car by the way gt4 is one of my dream cars and hopefully soon if you guys subscribe and you know keep watching these videos i can get one and review it and drive it around and all the above you know but let's see what i can do with this one. so the wheels are pretty nice i want to i want to bring all the details out of the wheels and uh just gotta work with what we have now uh, let me just bring the shadows out i'm gonna be like around 70 shadows out i'm gonna bring the whites down just a little and then blacks down just a little and then um uh, the only time i'm gonna add 15 clarity is here because i want to bring out all those like water spots and water uh, drops on the car out and then um, I'm gonna give it the plus 5 dehaze and give it just a little texture to the actual photo and then I want to bring out all the details in the foreground bring the exposure down take the texture up and give it a little clarity and uh, I'm pretty sure this photo was taken with the circular polarizer but it's not covering the windshield what i'm going to do is bring another graduate filter and just play with the dehaze just a little bit to give it that feeling that it was taken with a polarized filter the dehaze and then blacks down just a little and a clarity just just a tiny bit you don't want to do this i'm going to bring the clarity down even though it might look good but then remove some highlights and then i'm going to take my brush tool and bring out the beauty of these wheels and rims and just add some shadows to it not too much because we're adding shadows i want to remove the blacks and add some clarity and maybe a one dehaze so they don't look too fake maybe just make it fade a little make it a moody photo because it's already moody but again i don't want to do too much i don't want to ruin the photo i want to just do enough Put the blue and then add just a little bit blue and before and after and that's the final photo all right as i said this was the last raw photo and the next two are basically uh, jpegs if you can see here let me just do as much as i can to this one crop it for instagram and uh, bring some shadows up give it some warmth bring the details out of the pavement and then uh, bring the highlights down from the background give it some clarity and make it darker just a little and then go to the torn curve give it some blue just a little bit and then play with the torn curve and make it a moody photo and then give it some yellow highlights and blue shadows bring it down go crazy with this make it just a little darker and then I'm going to duplicate this invert it give it some shadows and some clarity to pop the car out and remove it just a little so that's the best I can do with this photo hope you're happy with this and Thanks for submitting your photo again. And here's the final edit. The last photo is from Luke. I'm just gonna crop it first because I don't like how the subject is placed. 
going to crop it so the subject is placed in my root of third. Um, it looks a little bit too warm. I'm going to make it a little cooler and adds a little tint to it. I'll bring the highlights down. Ooh, if you can see, even though it's a JPEG, you can actually get a lot of details from the background. And I added some clarity and then bring out some shadows. I'm going to bring out those details from the pavement or the foreground blacks down give it some texture and then i'm gonna go up here i duplicated this by just like moving it but i don't want it to make it too dark i'm gonna bring the highlights down again maybe bring it down a little more bring the shadows down i don't want to see so much of that green in the background and then give some clarity and that maybe just a little bit cooler let me see if i can do anything with the twunker because i don't know if the jpeg will actually let me do a lot to it all right not bad and then i want to bring those uh booze out that's why i'm going to use uh the luminance of the uh, colors to bring it out and gonna do this tone curve bring the yellows down and the blues down a little more and maybe just the highlights down a little more contrast down blacks down highlights down and and that's the final photo well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was different than other videos but i want to try to see if i can actually uh, do something different edit your photos if you liked it make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and thank you all for submitting your photos i wish i had a little more photos but uh, for the first time it was actually pretty good thanks again for submitting i'm gonna have everyone's instagram down in the description below and thanks again for watching uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you did uh, make sure to drop a like drop a comment and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and i have an announcement to make i created a patreon page and um, it's gonna be in the description down below if you would like to become a member uh, check it out become a member and that will help this channel significantly and will help me make more videos and have more to work with so make sure to check my patreon page out as well and become a member there's a couple tiers uh, one of them you'll be able to win a merch every month i'm gonna give away my merch every single month to a lucky winner so make sure to become a patreon member and with that all being said this video is officially over don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bells on and i'll see you guys in the next one till then peace see ya. Hey guys, I'm Major Far here and what happened? Oh, looks better now.